We did it, guys. Congratulations. You made it to day 30 of my Manifesting Your Intentions program. Today, I want to teach you one of my favorite, one of the ultimate techniques for going into that high state of consciousness, for feeling this connection that puts us in the flow state and makes the life come to us. But before we get into our final practice of the program, I want to say if you've been enjoying this program, maybe you're feeling sad that it's coming to an end and you want to keep practicing, don't worry. I've got many different 10 and 30 day programs that you can choose from right here on YouTube so you can keep practicing with me, so you can keep transforming, keep evolving. If you want to go even deeper and learn more about Kundalini and working with the chakras and the subtle energies, we've got our online courses, a journey through the chakras to help you take yourself really far Far. And if you want to access a full library of exclusive content, you can join our membership. In these ways, you're not only supporting us to continue creating this content, but you're helping yourself go further on your path. And lastly, if you would like to meet and practice live with me, join our mailing list so you can be notified on upcoming retreats, workshops, and the opportunity to meet in person. It would be such a gift to get to come together in the same space and share these sort of practices with you. The links to the workshop, the membership, and the mailing list will all be in the description below. And with that said, grab your yoga mat and let's get ready to practice together. bit emotional before we even start <laughs> but let's get ready find your comfortable seated position pressing the seat down reaching the crown of the head up roll the shoulders back and down so the heart is open and relaxed then I invite you to close the eyes go inside and take a deep inhalation through the nose open the mouth and sigh out <sighs> soften the body Soften the mind. Again, deep inhalation. Open the mouth side out. Oh, vibrating that heart space. Massaging the nervous system. One more time. Deep inhalation. Even more. Even more. Hold it and soften. Soften the face. The cheeks, the jaw, the shoulders, the hips, the legs. And let go. <sighs> Sitting with the eyes closed. Attention turned inside. Notice where you are now. Take a moment to reflect on this last month what you've experienced, what's changed for you in your day-to-day -day or your emotions, your vision for the future, the intentions you've set along the way that you've realized, that you've seen manifest, and the intentions that you're still working on. Take this time to be thankful to yourself, to all the work you've put in so far. To be grateful. And in this space, we'll bring the hands together in front of the heart. And we'll set our intention. The last intention for today. You might carry this intention with you for a long time yet. But let's crystallize it for us right now. Focusing in the heart center, bringing this intention to your reality on all levels. Feel it in your body, your energy, your emotions and your mind as if it were true and valid right now. And repeat it three times.
And when the intention is crystallized in the heart, take a deep inhalation. Hold the breath and infuse your intention with this loving prana. Smile and let go. Beautiful. Ah, gently coming back. So the practice that we're going to be doing today is a meditation known as Prana Uchara. Prana is this energy, the vital life force. And Uchara means upward pushing. Like we're pushing this energy upwards. This is a beautiful traditional tantric meditation for connecting the heart, Anahata Chakra, with Sahasrara, with the divine. So connecting our individual soul with the universe. When we get this connection, man, life is just beautiful. What we're going to be doing, this is essentially an evolution of some meditations that we've done previously this month. Where we will first be witnessing the flow of energy. The flow of breath into the nose, down to the belly. Then we will move to witnessing the flow of energy from that space we call the outer Devarashanta, the outer point of 12, into the heart, feeling it flowing. And once the mind goes really subtle, then we will move to the prana uchara, where we will take that energy into the heart. And as we exhale, we will push the prana upwards to the upper Devarashanta, a point 12 fingers above the top of the head, so somewhere around here. And then we will breathe from the upper Dvarashanta down into the heart and then exhale straight up to this point. So we're really taking our intention into the heart, exhaling it out to the universe, trusting it will be taken care of, taking prana back from the universe to the heart. And we continue breathing in this way, really trying to follow this path of energy from 12 fingers above the crown down into the heart center and back up. You can visualize this like a silver strand of light. You can visualize the energy moving like a golden orb. Or you can just try to feel the union you're creating from your individual self with the universe around you. Okay, we will perform this for roughly 10 minutes. And then we will just have a, an awareness and a gratitude. And try to be thankful and loving throughout this practice because ultimately that's what it is. Cultivating love, gratitude and manifesting the best life possible for ourselves. Okay, so find your way into a comfortable seated position where you'll be able to sit for at least 10 minutes. Sitting nice and tall, pressing down, reaching up, shoulders back. We will start by taking a deep inhalation through the nose. Relaxing exhalation. Close the eyes and start to focus on the breath. Coming in through the nose, down the throat to the belly. Feel the belly rise with the inhalation. Feel it sink in with the exhalation. Just tracing the natural flow of breath in and out of the nose. Remember, if you have a tendency to hold or control the breath, try to control it in what feels like the most natural rhythm for you. And eventually you'll find yourself just witnessing the natural flow of the breath. The detached observer. If at any point the mind gets distracted, just bring it back to the sensations of the respiration. With each breath, relax the body more, relax the mind more. And try to become aware of the real subtle sensations. Quiet the mind until you can feel the breath tickling the hairs in the nose.
And once the mind becomes calm and quiet, start to bring your awareness to the flow of energy from the point in front of the chest, 12 fingers below the nose. Feel the energy flowing up into the nose and down into the heart center. From the heart center up and out the nose. Visualizing, sensing, or feeling the flow of prana. Little tingles, effervescent bubbles, tiny vibrations. And as the mind becomes more still and refined to the flow of energy, we move to the final stage, prana uchara, the upward push. Inhale the energy into the heart. And as you exhale, energetically push the energy straight up through the central channel to the point 12 fingers above the crown, the upper davarashanta. Inhaling down into the heart, exhaling up above the head, focusing on this flow of energy between these two points, the union between yourself and the universe, a deep state of harmony. Keeping the mind focused on the energy moving between the two points.
and take a deep inhalation into the heart. Come back to your intention, hold it in the heart space, infuse it with love and energy and prana. And as you exhale, push this intention up, out through the crown, offer it like a gift to the universe, trusting with faith that it will come back to you. And release the meditation, sitting with the eyes closed, the tension inside. Feeling a state of lightness, expansion of your being, consciousness, state of union with the universe. In this beautiful space of openness, we bring the hands to the heart, drop down into that space of gratitude, and feel the work that you've put in, feel the effort, the time you've committed, and say thank you to yourself. Thank you for this beautiful month, for this beautiful act of self-love. Thank you for taking the time and energy to focus on your health, your wellness, your peace of mind, your energy and motivation, your openness and receptivity. Remember always Working on the self is the most selfless work we can do. So you deserve to say thank you to yourself because you've done a great job. Thank you. Thank you, self. And take a deep inhalation into the heart. As you exhale, gently coming back. So that I can say thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed this program. I hope you got as much out of it as I have creating it. Uh, please let me know in the comment section how it was for you. Give me your feedback, what you enjoyed, what you didn't. What was your favorite part? The Kriya, the Hatha, the HIT training, the meditation, the Pranayama, the intention. Let me know what you have to share. It not only inspires me to create more content like this, it also inspires other people who are doing these programs to see what they can get out of it. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me I wish you so much love I wish you the most beautiful prosperous abundant loving life possible namaste